Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general, welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on why Dennis Smith Jr. will be the point guard that NBA teams regret passing on. Real quick reminder, if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and please comment down below. I always post a question down there. It's a great opportunity for me to interact with you and hear your feedback, so leave a comment down there, please. Okay, to begin, we all remember the 2009 NBA Draft where the Timberwolves took two point guards ahead of Steph Curry at the five and six spots, which today turned out to be some of the worst misses of all time. Well, there are some parallels between 2009 and this year's 2017 NBA Draft. There were a total of four point guards drafted ahead of North Carolina State freshman Dennis Smith Jr., which will definitely provide motivation for him. And I believe we could be looking back on this draft in a few years and say, how did this guy get passed on four times? Dennis Smith Jr. was ranked 8th overall in the high school class of 2016, and if you've ever seen highlight videos on Smith, you would know that he's a special talent. With his athleticism, ball handling, and one-on-one -on -one elite isolation ability already in his junior year of high school, Smith was well on his way to the NBA. But then, a major setback. Smith tore his ACL, causing him to miss his senior year of high school basketball. He could have easily felt sorry for himself, called it unfair, and quit after experiencing an injury like this at a young age, but instead, he turned his injury into an opportunity and made the most of it. Dennis is quoted saying in an ESPN article that, I really believe that getting hurt was one of the best things that happened to me before college. Why would he say this? Smith ended up graduating high school early to enroll at NC State in January 2016. There at NC State, he got the chance to take classes, rehab with team doctors, and fully immerse himself into the basketball program. Smith even felt so good that two months after surgery on the ACL, he picked up a ball and dunked it multiple times, showing that he still had it. So, although Smith only played a year for the Wolfpack, he was really involved in two, and did work once he got to return to the court. At 18.1 points per game, 6.2 assists, and 4.6 rebounds, including an ACC triple-double record, Smith's numbers rival the point guards drafted in front of him. Why Smith could be a potential superstar and the next great NBA point guard that teams passed on is because of his willingness to get better and learn the game, which was evident during his year of rehab at NC State. The fact that he came back from an ACL injury at a young age and didn't lose an ounce of athleticism and skill also impressive. But I think Smith's greatest trait is evident. Mamba mentality. On January 23rd, Smith led the underdog Wolfpack into Cameron Indoor Stadium to face Duke, a place NC State hadn't won yet in 22 years. Smith dominated all night with 32 points and 6 assists, including elevating the level of play of his teammates, and with the game close late, he made big play after big play, capping off the night with a slam from about the free throw line. Even though it didn't count, it was the exclamation point on Smith's star potential. Now playing in Dallas, Smith is in a perfect place to begin his NBA career. The franchise is not facing a win-now situation. Smith can compete for the starting point guard spot right away. Plus, it can't hurt to learn the game from champions like Dirk and Harrison Barnes. I'm excited to see what he does in the Vegas Summer League for the Mavericks. So, do you think Dennis Smith Jr. will be a star in the league? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember to subscribe for more, like this video. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out.